As we go up towards Cheltenham, I just wanted to have a couple of bits of debate, really, on, on first of one would be the value aspect of everything. And people often say, oh, let's go for a bit of value. My idea of value is actually going to a site like Odds Checker and looking up a horse. Let's just take Champion Hurdle, for example, and fancy in Bouvidere. Um, some bookmakers will offer four to seven. Some bookmakers will offer two to five. The idea is that if you fancy Bouvidere, you go for the best odds. That's why it's so important to rack up your accounts of all these different bookmakers, the ones that accept your bets, and go for the four to seven. But so many times you get tipsters and pundits go, oh, this has now gone off to a backable price. I don't get that at all. I mean, my tent or yours, is it a backable price at 10 to 1 for the champion hurdle? Is Chittabello a backable price at 33 to 1? It comes down to me when you bet on horses, on what you fancy. The value aspect comes to play when you get the best price, on what you fancy. You don't change your mind based on price. And so many people will disagree with that because they'll say, oh, well, Chittabello's 33 to 1, that's value. But value you can't eat value. It's all about winning. And it's just a prime example of a champion hurdle that all, looks all set for Booby Deer. If you fancy Chisabello, fair enough. But it's not about value. It's about fancying a particular horse. You might like my tent or yours each way. You might like Chisabello each way. But ultimately, don't change your mind based on something drifting out to a bigger price. And you hear so many people on TV, TV presenters go, Oh, well, this has drifted. It now makes it a backable price. It's not a backable price if you don't fancy it. Value is in the high of the beholder. And if you fancy something, go for it. Get the best price. That is value. Beat the, beat the bookies, get the best price. Equals value. Value is not picking something you don't fancy just because it's a big price. People refer to beer goggles winning early in the year. And when I made the point that it wasn't going to win it wasn't value but the point was no one really expected it to win it won but it, this value argument doesn't sit well with me back what you fancy do what you fancy and don't base it on price get the best price you can on what you fancy that is value